As with any vehicle, the driving range of your Hyundai EV depends on a number of factors, but there are some ways that you can consistently improve your range. When you first take delivery of your Hyundai EV, the accuracy of the vehicle range will increase as the vehicle learns your driving style and patterns. Your Hyundai EV's range may vary significantly after recharging. Factors that influence the range include drive battery charge amount, ambient temperature and weather, terrain driven on, roads and traffic, and the drive mode selected, as well as your driving style. You can help improve vehicle range while driving by driving at moderate speeds, limiting acceleration and deceleration when possible, and using regenerative braking or smart regeneration as much as possible. For more on regenerative braking and smart regeneration, see the regenerative braking video on the Hyundai YouTube channel. The climate control system draws its power from the drive battery. Some tips to help increase vehicle range by reducing the amount of power that it draws are keeping the climate control set to 72 degrees and on auto mode. On vehicles equipped with it, use the driver only setting on the climate control and by using the scheduled climate feature while the vehicle is plugged in and charging. For information on this feature, see the charge management video for your Hyundai EV. Outside temperatures affect the range of your EV, with cold weather having a particularly noticeable change. It can result in a 10 to 25% impact on range, depending on the ambient temperature, cabin temperature, and the climate control settings. Use of the heater draws a large amount of power from the battery. You can help increase range in cold weather by using the seat temperature controls in place of warmer climate control settings. Also, scheduling heating will warm your vehicle in advance. In extremely cold weather, driving performance can be impacted due to low battery temperature. Using winter mode on vehicles equipped with it will help improve driving performance, but it will reduce your overall vehicle range when it's operating. And if the power limited due to low EV battery temperature charge battery warning is displayed, be sure to charge your vehicle as soon as possible. The charging process on your EV will sometimes cause sounds to be heard. You may hear noise caused by the vehicle's air conditioning system. This is normal as the system is used to control the drive battery temperature when charging. You may also hear high frequency noises when charging at DC charge stations. This too is normal as the vehicle is regulating the charging process. Some electricity suppliers have lower rates at night at what is called off-peak hours. You can schedule your Hyundai EV to charge at these off-peak times to take advantage of these lower rates. For information on charge scheduling, see the charge management video for your Hyundai EV. Your Hyundai EV also has settings that determine when the charging connector can be disconnected from your vehicle. This is to allow others to use the charger when at a public charging station, or to increase security when using the portable charger cable in public areas. To learn more about the connector locking settings, as well as how to manually unlock the connector, see the charger door and port video, or the EV charging basics video for your Hyundai EV. For more helpful information on your Hyundai, be sure to explore the how-to guides on the Hyundai USA YouTube channel and myhyundai.com.